Hello, this is Joe Hildreth, and welcome to episode 15 of Exploring Joomla 3.x. So, in our last episode, we were working on our module, and we introduced uh, parameters and how to access those. So, in this episode, uh, part 7 of uh, creating a site module for Joomla, we're going to uh, talk about upgrades uh, and, and updates to your Joomla extension. All up to this point, um, as we made changes to our uh, module, we were, you know, we would uh, zip it up and we would install it, and Joomla would overwrite the files, and you know, we were fine. But let's uh, let's talk a little bit about why uh, that happens. We're going to go to our project folder, and we're going to open up the XML file or the manifest file, and take a look here. And there are a few things here that we want to talk about. First of all, the second line here where we talk about the extension, uh, you know, we tell it it's a module and the minimum version, etc. But this part right here, the method equals upgrade, um, allows is what allows us to overwrite the files that we're that we're installing. You know, if if our module's already installed, the other method option that's available is install. Now, there's a subtle difference between the two. If an extension is already installed and the method of installation is marked as upgrade, then Joomla will uh, compare the version of the file in the manifest to the version of the file uh, of the extension in Joomla and it will make any changes to the database and then it will copy over replacing any of the old files with the new ones. If this were marked install and uh, the the extension was already installed, what we would run into is that uh, uh, Joomla will throw up uh, a warning and an error. The, the warning simply says that there there is a module of that name already exists, so it will refuse to install. And the error, of course, just tells you that it won't install. So, um, additionally, in the manifest file, you know, we have this section up here, which we said was just metadata. But let's talk about uh, two pieces of metadata. Uh, first is the uh, version. Uh, the version, when you do an upgrade, this is the value that uh, Joomla looks at to determine uh, what version you're trying to install, and that's what it uses to compare the version that's installed inside of Joomla that would be located uh, in the schemas table for the extension and then uh, uses the PHP compare function and then we'll run updates from that and we'll talk more about updates here in just a second. Um, in addition to um, to this up here, it's not necessarily it's not really uh, a necessity or mandatory but the creation date, I always kind of make sure that uh, my version and its release date coincide only because uh, Joomla, I mean, Joomla doesn't use this when it's doing the install other than it populates the back end where the administrator looks um, to see, you know, the creation date of the of the extension. And then additionally, um, you know, when we talk about uh, uh, the install uninstall process, you remember when we created uh, an install tag and an uninstall tag, so when the extension is installed for the very first time, it will run the install SQL file. When you remove the extension, we'll run the, re, run the uninstall SQL file. So there's one more additional tag that we'll use, and it's called update. And we'll get to that uh, here in just a, a little bit. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through this install upgrade process again. Okay, when we upload an extension uh, to Joomla, uh, to install it, Joomla will look at the method of the install, okay, and uh, and it will look at the version tag, okay, in the manifest file to compare to the value stored in the uh, schema's database, okay. If the version being installed is newer than the version already installed, Joomla will look for updates to do to the database. Uh, it uses the PHP version compare function to do that. Uh, and it will run any updates sequentially until it runs the last update. Now on the other hand, if the extension doesn't exist, it will run the install um, SQL file. You know, that's included with the archive. And then once it runs the install file, it will look to see in the updates folder what updates are available 
and it will find the newest update and and mark that as 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 the version of the extension. Now that's a that's very subtle there and, and it bears a little repeating. If we are installing the extension for the first time it will run the install mysql file. After it installs it will look in the updates folder to see what the latest or newest version of the of the SQL update files are and uh, mark that as the version in the database. Now we'll get into this a little, and here in a little bit but we said that our version is 1.00 if we had fat fingered or mistyped the name of our update SQL file to say like 1.0.9 or something then Joomla would see that and actually mark that as the version so this version here in the meta file is only used for compare the actual version number uh, is pulled from the uh, update files and then the last thing I want to say about updates is that uh, for every version of an extension that you release there needs to be an equivalent update file. Now remember the SQL files are used to make changes or additions to the database so if you make like bug fixes and you release an update the SQL file is just going to be empty. Okay so let's um, let's, uh, let's, let's get started with this so that we can actually support uh, versions. Uh, but before we do that, I want to come over here to PHP My Admin. I want to log in. And let's take a look at the Joomla databases that exist. So right now, the version of the extension that I have installed is from the last um, episode. And if you don't have that, you can download it from the site. Um, if, if you've watched some of these videos, you know how to do that. And all right. So anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at the Joomla database, and there's a few tables that I want to look at. So I want to click on the database, and the first um, table that I want to look at is called extensions. Now extensions will have information about all the extensions that are installed in Joomla. Okay. So I'm going to click on the double arrow to go to the last page of extensions and scroll down here until I find mod random quote, and you see there's an ID number here. This ID number uh, is used uh, as an index in the schemas table to find the version of, of this module, in this case mod random quote. So if we come back over here to the Joomla database tables and we scroll down to schemas, uh, if I can find it, there it is, we'll notice that our ID isn't here. And the reason why it's not here is because we have not done any updates or created any update SQL files for Joomla to put an extension here. So let's let's go correct that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add some uh, files and folders to our directory structure. Recall that we have the SQL folder and inside that we have the install and uninstall SQL files. Alright so we're going to create a folder called updates. So a new folder updates. Okay, and I'm going to copy this index file here. Remember, we do that to keep uh, Apache or whatever the web server you're running is from listing the files if it's not uh, been disabled. Okay, now we could just drop, if we were supporting only one database, we could uh, drop our update files in here. Uh, but the problem is uh, all the update files have the same name. Unlike the uninstall, I'm sorry, the install file and uninstall file, which has this little uh, MySQL or MS SQL or whatever something that uh, will give you separate file names, uh, the updates don't. So we're gonna, um, in case in the future we decide we want to support uh, an additional database server, we're gonna put each database server's updates in its own folder. So I'm gonna create a new folder called MySQL because that's the one that we're supporting. And again, I'm going to copy this index file and paste it over here. Okay, and then recall from our XML file that ours is version 1.0.0. So I'm going to just create an empty document called 1.0.0.sql. Okay, and that uh, file can remain empty. And uh, we'll go back here and reiterate. So you remember this is the very first version uh, of the of the extension that we would release 
so no one would have it to upgrade even though we've marked the uh, uh, XML file to upgrade um, because they won't have it installed it will not run any of these upgrade SQL files instead it will run the install SQL file okay but Joomla will look at this whatever uh, versioned SQL files in here remember and will set the uh, version of the um, of the extension to, to whatever versions in here okay so from here um, we need to modify our uh, XML file so I'm going to open this up and we're going to edit it and uh, to this we're going to add an update section okay so uh, rather than making you watch me type this I'm just going to add it and then we'll come back and talk about it okay I've added the uh, uh, update section here so we'll go over it so remember um, to, to be able to support updates we have to have the update section okay and it's pretty simple uh, you'll have an update and a close update tag inside that you'll have a schemas and a close schemas tag. So the most important line here to recall is this uh, our tag to, to look at here is the schema path tag. The schema path tag uh, takes one attribute called type and then the type is set to whatever database server um, that you're supporting. Okay, So in this case we had MySQL. Now if we were supporting multiple databases we would just add an additional schema, schema path tab tag and uh, set its type equal to let's say MS SQL for Microsoft SQL or zero for zero and then we would give the complete path to where the update files are located so you recall in our SQL folder we created an updates folder and then in the updates folder we created a MySQL folder and that's where we put our uh, our update SQL file in this case is empty because it'd be the first install so uh, that's really all that there is to that uh, I don't know if there's uh, other things that uh, you can update other than a schema. There's there's nothing that I, I know of. So uh, the update tag and the schema tags are required. Uh, just put them in and you should be good to go. All right. So uh, other than that, that's all we need to actually get um, get uh, our module to uh, support updates. So let's test it. So let's save this here. And let's go to our project folder. And let's zip and create an archive of our of our uh, module. So create, yes, replace the old one. And close. Okay, now I'm going to go to uh, Joomla in the back end and um, oops, I need to log in. I think I set mine to admin, admin. Okay, and we're going to go to extensions, manage okay and the extension type that we're interested in are modules and we'll scroll and find our module there's module random quote and we're just going to uninstall it okay now we're going to go to install and inst reinstall our module of course remember there's no module installed so it's going to run the in install SQL file so I'll browse to it select it upload and install and if everything goes well, we should get a message saying, hey, this is great. So we'll need to go to the uh, extensions modules and we'll have to uh, set it as published. We have to give it a location. I'm running Protostar, so I'll use the position in the right like I always have. And then we have to give it an assignment. We're going to say on all pages. And I think we're good. So we're going to save that. We'll go to the front end, and we'll hit our home button, and there's our quote. Okay, but to see if uh, it actually uh, recorded something in the schemas table, we need to go back to the PHP uh, MyAdmin and look at the Joomla database, and let's look at extensions again. So remember, the extensions table holds all the extensions that are installed in, inside of Joomla. Uh, we know that ours would be at the very end, so I want to go to the last page and scroll down to the bottom. So I see mod random quote here with an extension ID of 10026. So I'm just going to write that down, 10026, because my memory sucks. All right, so now let's go uh, back to the Joomla uh, 
list of tables and let's find schemas table right there it is and so now we see that there's an extension ID that matches our 10026 and you see the version ID is set to 1.0.0 so all that works so um, just to recap when we installed the um, extension it wasn't installed so it ran the install script file after it ran the install script file it looked through the SQL updates MySQL and discovered that this is the latest version okay so it set the value on the schemas table to that version okay so we're good so that part that part works okay well that's the gist of versioning so let's uh, let's enhance on this a little bit let's um, let's start making changes um, to our module uh, and versioning it along the way so we get the practice and we and get a clear idea how it works so um, let's do this uh, let's uh, let's think about the future of our module and let's say that we want to um, be able to uh, provide an image of the author so if Ben Franklin has a quote up there you know we want to put a, a picture of Ben Franklin um, or if it's Thomas Jefferson Thomas Jefferson and, and that sort of stuff but um, we need to uh, we need to make some changes to the database to do that we, you know our database um, right now for the random quotes if we go back here and take a look find mod random quote uh, right here you'll notice that we have uh, an ID which we said was just an index the author's name the quote and the source well you know we want to be able to have uh, associate an image with um, with our author so we're going to add uh, uh, another table entry that would have the name of the image file that we're going to uh, you know going to use to load up you know if the, that could be shown along you know with the quote you know if the uh, you know maybe if the administrator wants to show the image so maybe we can set that as a parameter but uh, for right now let's talk about uh, I'm really focusing on the update and install process so we're just gonna make uh, changes to the database which is what uh, the install process uh, our upgrade process really does uh, and shines at so uh, remember that uh, our SQL files for install and uninstall okay their job uh, is if the ins if the extension has never been installed it has to have all the SQL there uh, to create uh, you know the necessary database tables uh, key constraints and and populate it with data and and all that sort of fun stuff so we need to modify the install MySQL file here so that um, it will uh, if it run for the first time we create everything that we need needed to create so we're going to open this up and edit and the first thing we're going to do um, is we're going to add an additional um, column to our table so I'm going to come right over here at the end of the source column and I'm going to add a comma because we're going to do another definition here and I'm just going to pause this here and type type this in and we'll come back and talk about it here real quick okay so I've added this line here I'm saying that uh, I'm going to create a column called picture okay and it's um, its data type is a variable character and can hold up to 200 characters and I just put a comment here saying that this is the author's picture notice that I did not say this is not null this this file could or there could be uh, you know maybe we can't find a picture of a certain author or something so we're going to allow null or empty values here okay now uh, I need to make a clarification here normally um, in our insert into um, we would go ahead and add you know a comma and pictures here and then we, we would add the uh, the file name of the picture but you know I'm, I have uh, uh, 50 inserts here so I'm not going to uh, I'm gonna do that I'm gonna cheat a little bit um, but if you go back and and uh, uh, it, let's say that you made this changes inside of uh, uh, PHP my admin and you went ahead and you populated the data you can uh, create these insert statements like we did uh, in the beginning when we first started with the database so instead I'm just going to insert them down here so I'm going to come down here to the um, bottom of the file 
and I'm going to add some update statements. So um, I'm going to pause this here, and then when I get these update statements in here, we'll talk about them. Okay, so you see I have a number of update statements here, and uh, basically we're saying, okay, um, update this table. And in our case, it's mod random quote. Remember, we use that little macro here in the beginning, that that hash underscore underscore, right, to uh, replace the 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 random uh, bits that uh, Joomla puts at the beginning. So we're saying that uh, we want to set um, uh, for the the picture column we want to set it to gwashington.ping where the name equals George Washington and we want to set it to bfranklin.ping where it where the name is Benjamin Franklin and again like I said I'm taking a shortcut here simply because uh, I don't want to have to go through here and type it 50 times I can type it 11 times here and be done although I think it would be better to have this data here um, as part of the insert statements and I just I believe that uh, as an exercise for you okay so that's all the changes that we need to make to our install file right we uh, we've we've created the uh, column and we've inserted the data that we need into the column so we can save that now our uninstall SQL file uh, simply drop the table if you remember we can come over here and look our uninstall dropped just simply drop the table so there's nothing uh, additional that we have to do to the uh, uninstall file so we can leave that be and then finally we have to create an update file because if they're running version 1.0.0 and this is going to be version 1.0.1 .1, there are changes that have to be made to the database and the updates file makes just the necessary changes so let's go to updates mysql we're going to create another empty file here and we're going to call it 1.0.1.sql okay and we're going to open this here up with gedit and we're going to um, make some changes here so let me get the changes in here and I'll be right back with you okay so in our 1.0.1.sql file I've added the SQL needed to make the changes from the 1.0.0 to the, uh, I'm sorry, from 1.0.0 to make the changes for version 1.0.1. So uh, recall that in, in our install file, we basically we said, hey, we're going to um, add a column and we've updated the data. So that's what we're doing here. We're doing we're altering the table mod random quote and we're adding a column called picture. That's a ver care of 200 and we put a comment of author picture and then we use the same update statements that we did in um, the install file uh, to add the data to the uh, to, to the database itself now again I, I want to stress that um, your install file this is a hack to putting up state update statements in your install file to me is kind of a hack and you should be able to um, um, should have those in your insert statements and I really do encourage you to go back um, and, uh, and and make that proper so we're gonna save this so we've made the changes to our uh, install um, file there were no changes needed to be made to the uninstall file and then finally the uh, the update file the one to the 1 .0, version 1.0.1 SQL file we altered the table to add our column and we added the data using uh, update um, SQL um, calls. Alright, so we're going to save all that and we can close these. Okay, And then next we need to uh, go to our uh, manifest file we need to make some changes. So we're going to open that up with gedit. Okay? And first thing we're going to make changes to is the version. Remember, this is now version 1.0.1 1 .0 .1, okay and I will make this um, today's date and see today's date is the 5th of October so 5 October 2016 so that just kind of jives there in the back end uh, there's no other changes here that uh, we need to make so now when we do our update and install this here Joomla should look at the version says oh this is 1.0.1 .1. it will go look at the schema table and says alright well the installed version is Joomla 1.0.0 .0 .0. 
So I will go to the updates folder for MySQL and I will run any files that that are greater than version.1.0.0 .0 until one after another until uh, we're caught up. And uh, for example, let's say that we've done another one after this here, but the, but the person was still in 101, right? So we would have a 100, a 101, and a 102 update. Joomla would see that it was on 100, and if this was version 102, it would say, okay, I need to run the 101 update to make any changes to the database, and then I need to run the 102 changes to make any changes to the database to keep, to, uh, keep everything in sequence. All right, so that's essentially that. Let's save that and let's go uh, zip up our our uh, extension here. Okay, and create. Yep, we can replace that. All right, now let's go over to the back end and let's install it. So let's go to. Oops, I need to log back in. All right, let's go to Extensions, Manage, Install. And we want to browse, and we want to install our new zip file. Open that, upload, and install. All right, so let's go see if things were successful. So we're going to go back to PHP My Admin, and we're going to go back to the Joomla database. OK, recall that um, we added uh, a column to our table. So let's go look at Mod Random Quote Table. And sure enough, there's a picture and there's the data that we assigned to it. So the update went good. But now let's check the schemas table, which holds the version of our extension. So we come down here to schemas. Um, I know it's here somewhere. There it is. And we look, there's our extension ID, and now the version says 1.0.1. .1. Now you kind of get an, hopefully you get an idea of how this works. Now to further test, um, remember that it didn't run the install file, it ran the updates file. So we're going to test this again by going to extensions, manage, and let's uninstall our extension. So we're looking for modules. Okay, and let's find ours. I think it's on page two mod random quote and let's uninstall okay says that it uninstalled we can verify it by going to the Joomla database and seeing that our module our mod random quote table is gone it it is okay so let's go back into Joomla and install browse mod random quote open upload and install Okay, it says everything was beautimous. So let's go back here and refresh the Joomla database and look for our module. So there's mod random quote. So there's the picture and the, f the picture names that we put in there for the uh, image files. And we'll come back over here to the Joom3 database and look at schemas and verify that it is in fact 1.0.1 okay so the only other thing here I probably should have mentioned and didn't do was that uh, each time you release a um, a version and you zipped it up I would rename it and add a dash in the version number so v 1.0.1 okay and then save those files in a, in a safe place because you might want to branch and split it out there might be uh, a, a bug. Uh, you you know you just want to be able to keep track of those versions. So generally, what I do is I'll create a new folder called archive, and we have to remember that the archive folder is not a part of the extension itself. This is just where we're. You know, this is you know we're in our project folder, and I'm just going to copy this here and put it in the archive folder. Okay, and I should have done that with version 1.0.0. So if you go to the uh, if you go to my heap website. I will post this up here and uh, version 1.0.0 .0 and version 1.0.1 .1 will be available to you. If you have any questions, um, please uh, either post below this video or use the contact us link. Remember, if you go to Technology Exploring Joomla 3, 
um, the complete episode guides here, uh, every one that I've released uh, with a little description. Uh, each section has uh, uh, an area dedicated to it over here. So if we look for writing modules for Joomla 3, you'll find Part 7 listed under Part 6 when I get it posted. And when you go to those pages, obviously you can download the um, source code for whatever changes that we made during this episode. You can download um, the uh, tutorial as a PDF file and of course you can watch the video and one thing I do uh, encourage you to do uh, because you know I, I openly admit I'm not a very good teacher and not a very good speaker and probably ill prepared um, to go ahead and take the time um, to, to download the PDF file uh, read it because uh, there's things that I, I may mention in there that I didn't mention in the video. There may be things in the video that I didn't mention in the file. So they're really intended to be used together. Um, I think in the next um, episode, as we continue on with our module, we'll talk about adding uh, media uh, to the module. In this case, you know, we had just referenced a bunch of um, pictures in the database. So we probably ought to figure out where those need to go and how to get them installed. Uh, and we'll call that version 1.0.2. We'll keep uh, we'll keep uh, track of our updates and that sort of thing. Uh, so again, uh, I hope that um, these have been helpful to you. Um, I, I don't get them out as fast as I'd like to get them out. Like I said, I have a I have a job and I have a family and I have other things that I like to do. Um, and uh, I don't want this to be a job for me. I want to continue to enjoy it, and hopefully, you're getting something out of it. Um, if you, uh, if you um, have questions about direction or um, things that we covered, uh, please take the time to ask. I don't uh, I don't mind uh, uh, answering uh, questions on YouTube or uh, from my site. I I try to keep up with those. Now I will say this: that uh, I have uh, overlooked or not been notified of some comments on YouTube so I don't really know what that's about I don't know if it's the Google Plus thing uh, I haven't really uh, got YouTube all figured out but um, uh, keep the faith and and uh, keep plodding on and and keep at it uh, you'll learn this stuff uh, some of it's complicated some of it makes sense but uh, hey look I'm learning with you and we're gonna figure this out together so in the meantime have a blessed day